2,125 years ago, the Han Dynasty dispatched tens of thousands of soldiers into Navig and took over the country. And they invaded the Navig and put us in the dark, one of the darkest times of our life. Many people, many big people have stood up and fight them. And the first one was quite surprisingly female. And they, they were Chung Chak and Chung Yi. Chung Chak and Chung Yi were twins. And they are descendants of Hung Ping, of Hung Ping. And they were born from a military family. Chung Chak, in the later year, was married to Thi Chak, who, is also, who was also from a military family. So you can see here, all of them were from military family. So the dominating government didn't like them at all, and they tried to get rid of the family. And as if the lie was not difficult enough for everyone, in the year 40, there was a huge wild elephant that usually come to the village, to the nearby village, and attack the people over there. So afraid of the wild, many men, brave men, would try to fight him up, fight it up. But it all ended up in vain. Severe injury or even death. Publicly and afraid, they turned to to Jack and Chung Yi and asked for their help to make the life easier for everyone. They have agreed. Chung Jack and Chung Yi then, in the later of the night, with their follower, leave left their home and marched to the deep forest to capture, to find the white elephant. And legendary say that the battle between them was wonderful. It lasts for weeks. And Chu Chak didn't fight it with brutal strength because that would not be enough. Oh, when the elephant attacked her, like a snake, she avoided it and made it into the tree and pushed. And she used fire to attack the elephant in return. She tried to capture the elephant in the circle of her fire. Ooh. But the, the elephant was also very smart. The elephant <laughs> knew that fire can attack him. So he withdrew himself into even a deeper forest where there was a lot of swamp and water corn. And in that place, fire is no use. The encounter between a ferocious elephant and one brave soldier endured for weeks or even months. And somehow, by that time, both of them had become closer to each other, the person and the, the beast. Not only did they become closer, but also gain more respect from each other. And one day, recognized that the elephant was tired from the fight. Chuk Chak asked her follower to lure them into a swamp where, very close by, she was hiding himself, herself on the top of a tree. When the elephant fell down on that swamp, she jumped on that tree and landed right on the elephant's head. And quickly and immediately, she broke off over its neck and tried to control it with all her strength. The elephant went berserk and tried troubling to shook her off. If she felt, she would surely die. So she grabbed onto that rough for hours and hours. A fight become a physical fight between a will of a man and an elephant after hour fighting. Not only that she capture the elephant, but she also want the elephant. The elephant then follow her and understand her. She so submit, he so submitted to, to check that she even brought it back to the village on the back of the elephant. The villager was so happy. They was running out and yell because now the threat was gone. Some of them would even kneel before her greatness and her bravery and ask her to stay at the village forever. But after months of being away from home, that all of them with their father, their mother, and their husband. So refused all of those invitations Chi Chak went back to her home. And surprisingly, there was no one there. 
At the front door, there was no one. She came to the living room, there was no one. And only when she came to the backyard, she saw her father, <coughs> her mother, her husband, lifeless body, beheaded and buried in the backyard. No word was spoken that day. No scream was spoken that day. But with fear, with tears falling down from their eyes, with anger rising up in their heart, and with loving memory rewinding in their mind, only they saw Tylee. They just turned around. No one spoke to each other. And silently and steadily, they marched in the same direction. When the village, when the villager saw their hero back to the village, and the hero was not saying anything, the village, the villagers understood what really happened. Without any word spoken, they all come back to their house and draw what it need and follow their hero to the government. And when they marched, the first time they saw the enemy, what had hold them silent? What had hold them suffer? What had killed their family? With a rod throughout the space and time, that one rod that reclaiming the name of Namib, the rod that later on inherited by Li Bi, Ngo Bi, Nguyen Ting Huang, the raw that our generation can even hear that. And my friend, can you hear that raw now? Yes. yes.